Hello guys, welcome back. So I've played on about a month since the last episode from the game against Dundee United. After that was a 3-3 draw with Torino. Bit of a weird one because we were 2-0 up but then 3-2 down late on and we rescued a point in injury time. So I wasn't quite sure how to feel the fact that we were 2-0 up and then 3-2 down but we got a draw in the end. Marquez, Amasuchi and Pierre and Tony with the goals for us. Then we had another 3-3 draw straight after that against Brescia. Again we were 1-0 up, but then we went 3-1 down. I changed things up in the second half and we managed to get it back to 3-3 and rescue a draw. Marquez, Pierre and Tony and Amasuchi again, the same scorers. Then I started against Napoli with the formation that we finished with in the game before and it paid dividends. Amasuchi and Michelis with the goals in a 2-1 win Osserman scored light on to make it nervy towards the end, but we held on for our first three points since the Roma game in August. Then it was some Europa Conference League action again against Bronby. Comfortable 3-0 win, we created loads in this one. Thoroughly deserved win. Marcus Force with his first goal for the club. Amasuch with a penalty. And then Igor Zogovic with his first goal for the club as well. Which is nice to get a couple of players their first goals. Then, most recently, was a 4-1 win away to Bologna, Amasuchi with a hat-trick, and Askilton with the goals. So, this new formation that we've been trying out the last few matches seems to be working. I say a new formation, but it's something that we have used before, but it's never been our main tactic. We've also played a couple of international matches since the last episode. First, a good 2-1 win at home to Andorra. Our first competitive win in about three years, I think it is. Yeah, since the Nations League, Nations League win against Liechtenstein in 2024. We're now in 2027 and it's finally another competitive win. Nice to get a bit of a revenge against Andorra. I remember we absolutely battered them six months ago and lost 2-1 somehow. So nice to right that wrong there. Nicola Nani and Andrini with the goals. But then a really disappointing 7-2 loss to Kosovo. Bit of a thrashing this one. It was actually only 2-1 at half time but then we had an injury in the second half that put us down to 10 men because I'd made all the substitutes. And they scored 3 or 4 I think while we only had 10 men. So it just skewed the result a little bit. Rizzi got another one late on to make it slightly less embarrassing. But the reason we are back today though is for Victor San Marino. We'll play a league match. We're taking on Spezia who are bottom of the table so it should be a win hopefully. We're up in ninth at the moment, 11 points from the first 7 matches. So the team for today then, a couple of injuries to contend with. Annoyingly Parola has fractured his leg. He's out for two to three months. He's been our best performing centre-back so far. He got into the team because Vitti wasn't doing so well. But now Vitti will get his chance to prove himself again. So, Savini can go on the bench. And Andrini, why not? And I'm going to put Pierre and Tony back in up front because Force didn't have the best game last time out. Also, Labodjko can go in. So the team today then, Plazari in goal, Takuna at right back, Michelis and Vitti as the centre backs, Marco Sattler at left back, Labodjko, Askilson, Hulmund, who I've actually given a new contract to now because I had his teammates complaining to me and I thought it was best to keep it harmonious. Zagovic as the playmaker, Pierantonio and Amasuchi up front. So yeah, we have gone back to this diamond that we've used a few times. So a few names I recognise then, Roman Berkey, Batella who we tried to sign, Aaron Hickey, Tahith Chong, Jordan Larson. 
So I'm going to tell the team this is a chance for revenge today. Hopefully we don't slip up against them now, bottom of the table. As we saw. Not the best start to the match so far. I was hoping to show how good our tactics been, but they've decided not to play well today. No shots from either team in the first 20 minutes. We have finally got a whole lot. Takuna with the throw in, finds our skilled son. Back to Lobojko. Hulman now, Pierre and Tony. Can he find some space? Force back to Lobojko. Now Hulman, that's a good ball. Pierre and Tony in down the side. Low cross. Amasuchi has a shot. Good block. Can we do something from the resulting corner? Zagovic is going to go over to take it. And towards the near post. VC. And he heads it in. The keeper couldn't keep it out. Good corner from Zagovic and a really good header from Vitti at that near post. Not the best camera angle this one. It looks like he just squeezes it past Berkey at the near post who gets hands on it but can't keep it out. And after a really dull start to the match we have got the lead at least. Both fullbacks are on bookings which I don't like there. Pierre and Tony finds Amasuchi, Amasuchi's through and Amasuchi scores. That's 2-0 and out of no nowhere, out of nothing, we have two goals and what should be us on our way towards victory today. You can't give Pierre and Tony this sort of space. Great ball and a great finish from Amasuchi. He's had a really good start to the season as we expected. And that's going to be half time then, 2 0. I'm going to sound pleased with the number of shots. It's their whole lot though, they've got throw in. Back to Aaron Hickey. Go all the way back to the keeper. He does go along, but it's straight to us, which we'll take. Zagovic, Lobojko, that's an interesting ball out to the wing. Pierre and Tony asks a lot of Takuna, but he's going to get there. Takuna cuts it back to Pierre and Tony. Back to Zagovic. Tess Berkey from range. He keeps it out. And it's another corner. Can Zagovic produce again? Into that near post again. Vitti heads on, and that's a great save from Roman Berker. The ex Dortmund keeper keeps it out. Bologna coming forward for Spezia. <laughs> Chung now cuts inside. Good ball to Tremoni. Tremoni dinks the keeper. And Takuna can't keep it out. I thought he'd saved a goal then. I don't know what he's doing. It looked like that was going to be an easy stop on the line for Takuna. Takuna seems to lose his bearings or something. Or it's a bad touch and he can't keep it out. And they're back in this now. That side from Berkey could be a big one to keep them in the game. Twenty to go, time for some subs. Takuna losing fitness and on that yellow card. Spizzatino's a safe choice to come in there. Lobojko's on that yellow card as well. I'm gonna bring in Costas in the Romanian. And we'll save a sub because we know the game likes to injure your players if you make all at once. Look like we were going to have a corner then that's disappeared. I'm actually going to demand more. Ten to go now. I'm going to bring in Jausar for Zagovic. Right, last five. I'm going to just put the wing backs on support because I don't want that ball in behind catching them out. And we'll tell the team just to waste a little bit of time. Should have been far more comfortable than this against bottom of the league. 
we've got one final hole up maybe they've got it at the back they go long and that ball in behind has worked he's got in behind Spizzacino early shot into the side netting and we get away with that one another hole up still with three minutes of injury time to play need to keep the ball Pierre Antoni's got it finds Askilson Amasuchi good ball into Pierre Antoni Back to Spizzacino, back to Pierantoni, low cross and Amasuchi taps it in and that should wrap up the points. That was all the work of Pierantoni I think. Starts the move and then puts it on a plate for Amasuchi. I thought he was going to shoot from that tight angle then but makes the right decision, cuts it back to Amasuchi. Gets his second of the game, our third. And that's full time. Nice to get a win. Nice work, that was good. So that win has lifted us up to sixth in the table then. And after a bit of a slow start to the season, we're now getting the results and competing up the right end of the table. 14 points from our first eight matches. Annoying the defeat against Monza and a couple of the draws, but other than that, we seem to have found a bit of form. In terms of when I'll be back, I'm not quite sure. Maybe for a Conference League match. It is looking like we're going to get through though quite comfortably, hopefully. Hasn't posed us too many problems so far, although I expect Bodo Glimp to be our biggest test. Who we've got up next. So I might come back for one more Conference League game. But I'm not exactly sure when. Right, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.